Greetings, everybody, and welcome back to Oblivion. I got some exciting news today. I'm pretty excited about this. So, last time, I thought we had finished this quest, Shadows in a Struggle for Power, or at least finished it as much as we could. There was something about missing a piece of the armor, which I thought I might have in a chest, or I missed somewhere, or something. We were going to check it out later. Well, I also mentioned that much uh, to my disappointment, there was no wiki available for this mod, because some of the stuff is fairly cryptic. Well, it turns out there is a wiki available. It's just not around anymore. But using the Wayback Machine, you can view an archived version of it. So I have found said archived version, and it turns out there's a lot more to this quest than I thought. Uh, we're going to hop right into it, and I'll explain as we go, but basically the next step after taking care of those uh, those guys from last time, the Corrupted Rangers was we have to start poking around in some forts that are over here to the east of Braville. And I think this is one of them. Now inside these forts, we've been in a couple of them before, I think, just to get, like, Shadow Banish wine and stuff. But um, we will have the Marauders, who are a, a new faction. Now I didn't realize that they were actually part of the quest. I thought they were just there for... You guys okay? I thought they were just here for, you know, for fun or whatever. Jump on my sword while you can. Apparently there are goblins in here that people are fighting. You, will know you know what? I know these enemies are not going to be <laughs> nearly as difficult as some of the other ones that we fought already, so maybe I'll be a little bit more reckless. It's time for a little bit more recklessness, right? There was way too much, like, sitting back and shooting fools with arrows for seven hours. Uh, that said, I do need to be a little bit careful, because if this is quest-related, there's probably a boss enemy in here. But I don't know. I've never done this. This is all new territory. Hence one of the reasons I'm so excited about it. Yeah, that guy looks like a boss right there. Um... Of course, eventually, eventually, we'll actually get to Knights of the Nine. Thank you. Thank you. I know I aggroed the other guy. I don't know what he's doing hanging out down there. It looked like he had some of that obsidian armor, which is pretty nice armor. person has not noticed me. Okay, there we go. Good hit. Good for you. Oh, more goblins. I guess I'll just let the situation play out. Now, uh, the culmination of this quest line, I don't, I honestly don't know if that's even going to happen this time. It might even be next time. But uh, the culmination of all this ends with a pretty cool area that I remember accessing a long time ago. When I played this mod. Oh, that guy's actually pretty strong. Maybe I'll get a little bit more careful here. Regular ones are not strong, though, so if I just keep doing this, I should take care of them. There we go. Now it's one on one. Should be able to take him. Yeah, you know when we have a named NPC, an air of superiority. Cool. Noble Mace. Drake fired. Huh. Oh. 
He's just carrying around a bunch of gold nuggets. I can appreciate that. Fancy, fancy. All right. What uh, does this note say? I think I got this note before and didn't read it, but... Uh, you'll separate once you reach the river. Oh, perfect. You will head northeast towards Lycia, and sister will go towards Facian. And Intius. Yeah. Perfect. So now I know which uh, areas I need to go to. Let us continue exploring this because there could be more stuff in here. And they're looking for, I think, the helmet or the mask or whatever. So it's going to be in one of these. I think it's in this one. I'm not sure. We got more. Somebody didn't hear all the racket. I'm just still walking around there. I like that armor, by the way. That is pretty stylish. Uh, 36 and 9 versus 60 and... Yeah, this is better. <laughs> Eventually, we'll get to the point where maybe we will fashion scrolls it up. I should have gone for the goblin instead. Oh, whatever. You have a very high block skill, sir. Not high enough. Um... So I will post a link to the wiki in the uh, video description if anyone's interested in checking it out. Okay, so there's nothing down here, question mark? Oh, wait. Does that warn me, Thrill? Yeah, don't need that. Check the other side. Looking at how long this is taking, it probably is not going to be this time that we finish the quest. Might even be next time. Oh, hi. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Okay, I can't unlock that. I'm pretty sure that the wiki said the mask is supposed to be in here somewhere. Um, okay, well, I've not gone that way yet. Clearly missed this little path before. <laughs> I think uh, it, it was one of these ruins that had the Shadow Banish wine in it, right? And that's why I had come in here not here specifically, but into one of these before. I'd hope that uh, he didn't decide to put the... Why can I not... There we go. Forgot. Sometimes you have to access the inventory before these items show up. It's kind of a weird quirk of the mod. But uh, yeah, I, I did come into one of these at some point. And I think it was looking for Shadow Banish Wine. Now 
All right, this looks promising. Or it looks like I just came back to where I was already. Shoot, okay, where... Maybe we'll come back to this one? I'm pretty sure the wiki said the mask was in here. Give me a second. Let me look. Let me do one more sweep through here. All right, hey, what can I say? Apparently basic reading comprehension is not my forte. Here we are at Fort Facian, which uh, is where the mask is actually located. And according to the journal entry, or the little note that I found, there should also be a... Uh, well, another boss enemy in here. So, cool. Let's check it out. So bright. So bright. Careful. Ha, uh, indeed. I like these marauders. They have uh, repair hammers on them. Kind of nice. Look low level, I should be able to take him. Ouch. I'm sorry, Doggo. Yeah, these guys are quite a bit easier than uh, those previous enemies we were fighting. Artish. Unfortunately, since there technically aren't pole arms, um, they're all just basically two-handed swords. I cannot see a thing. It is way too dark down there. There we go. There. I did find it pretty funny that this person was not ever noticing me. Oh. Oh. That's right. Only an idiot would fall for that trap. Wait. Orcish shield, huh? Where's this guy at? <laughs> oh. Wall hacks. Not fair. Alright. It is so, so bright down here. There we go. Yep, this looks promising. Let us wait, just in case it explodes or something. You never know. Could happen. Um... Okay, maybe it's over there. <laughs> it's gonna say, ooh, this isn't good. It is uh, supposed to be in here. Right, right. See, like I said, only an idiot would fall for that. Um, yeah. True, we haven't even hit our uh, boss enemy yet. Is that a raider? 
Yeah, it is. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, uh, okay. There is no good uh, brightness level for this ruin, apparently. This is probably way too dark for YouTube. The other way is way too bright for me, so... Oh well. I think I missed a room or two in there, but that's fine. Okay, that's the way out. There you are. I feel like we're getting warmer here. I'm sure none of you could see that because I could barely see it. Huh? You know, in the past I would have been excited for uh, dwarven arrows and whatnot, but no longer. What are we doing here? Oh, she's the boss. You know what? Rude. Okay, she's actually kind of kind of strong. I'll give her that. Uh, let's just chug a couple of these and doesn't help that I can't see for various reasons. There we go. What armor is that? All these new armor sets that I'm finding. Okay. Um, whatever. I, d I didn't get all that philosophical nonsense from uh, talking to them. Ornate obsidian armor. Well, we're going to have to mix up the armor sets a little bit at some point, I think. Is that uh, light armor? No. Heavy armor. Okay. Uh, definitely looking a little over encumbered now. Um, um. Well, uh, have to figure something else out here. All right, for the moment, for the moment, let's ditch all these. That's 30 something, 32 or whatever. And we'll ditch the Minotaur horn. That's very heavy. And we will ditch, uh, the capes. All right, I'll finish this up and then I'll come back and figure that out because I do want some of that stuff still. I can always drop some arrows too.
Who's left? Just the... No. Sounds like a couple. What's that? Dude, that's some sort of, like, glaive. That's awesome. I want that too, though. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to make a couple trips, I think. Alright, let's hurry this up. I should be able to, um, like, warp back to my base, unload the equipment, and then come back. Where did... Ooh, the only thing I'm worried about is maybe that disappears, so I will place it on the corpse here. That thing looks awesome, though. Where are you? Right, whatever. Hopefully I don't have to lockpick anything. Like this. Well, there's the mask. Helmet. I think I'm going to be over encumbered when I pick it up, though. Anything else I can drop? See, I want this stuff, because this stuff's kind of, like, cool and unique. Alright, give me a second. I will retreat back to my base, unload this equipment, and then uh, I'll be back and we'll actually pick up the mask. Okay, we are back. I literally just warped back to my base, unloaded the armor, and then warped back here. There appear to be ghosts everywhere now. Everything is way too dark. There we go. Unfortunately... Oh no, the corpses are still here. Good. I, I thought the corpses disappeared at first, and I was going to be very sad about that. Uh, what is with these ghosts? These ghosts are legit. So many. And totally not completely irritating with their little drain fatigue thing. I think I made one of these, right? Yeah. Okay. Wow, they are everywhere. Okay, are we good now? No. Are we good now? Yes, maybe. Okay. Um So I want it I want it to be all like cool and climactic. So um let's go gather the rest of the stuff first. Where'd that corpse go? What? What? There was a corpse here. You saw it. It had that cool, like, glaive thing. Really? Is it actually gone? It's just get, like, hit somewhere? Okay, fine. Let me go get my repair hammers back, hopefully. Ah, oh boy. You know what? Forget that. <laughs> it's fine. 
I can get repair hammers whenever I want. I have plenty of cash. Okay. The moment we've all been waiting for. The mysterious helmet. Bill its dark power. The same set of armor that Aragor wore when I defeated him. The same armor must be part of the relics of Graithlin. So what happens when I put it on? Let's get outside first. Because it's way too dark in here for that nonsense. I think I got everything. The only thing I lost was that glaive, which is unfortunate, but whatever. I don't care that much about it. I wasn't going to use it. I just thought it was kind of neat. Aha! <laughs> well, at least I 360'd through at that time, right? Anybody following me? Okay, so all it took was for me to come over here and murder some bandits who were minding their own business. Not technically murder, because they attacked first, but let's be honest. Alright. We shall take the mask. We shall equip the mask. Here we go. Something about floating in a void again. And a single sound echoes in my mind. Barastal. Spectral realm is within my reach. Now, I know what that means, because I've read the wiki. Uh, yep, Varistal is up here. We've already come to it. However, I think we were not able to go in, right? So, this is why. Okay, well, it's not... Thanks, game. It's not supposed to let you in if you're not wearing the full set, but apparently it still did. Well, anyways, I, I think when I came by here earlier, it didn't let me in for that reason. So I want to thank you very much for watching this episode of a. Obli okay, <laughs> all right, we'll do it, but I don't know what that was, and that frightened me greatly. What in the world was that? <laughs> ah, yes, our good buddies, the Spectral Warriors. Dang it. Double dang it. Triple dang it? Oh. These guys were a serious... You know what? A serious thorn in our side early on in, in the playthrough. And we gradually got to the point where we could deal with them. Well, there's something kind of cool about this armor that we're wearing. I guess I could show you what it is right now. You remember before when you try to pick up the stuff, it says your hands freeze? It still says that. Okay. I thought that, uh... okay, maybe I have to kill somebody first. Supposedly, this armor is supposed to let you handle spectral weapons, but yeah, maybe that's not the case. Oh, that guy looks like a boss. That's frightening. Yeah, this guy's a little bit scary. <laughs> okay. It's okay, I got plenty of healing potions. And plenty of attack power as well. Wow, this guy is quite powerful. We're going to chug some more healing potions here. Boom. The mysterious specter finds its final death. 
That probably was the most difficult foe that I've had to face so far. So can I grab this now? Oh, acrobatics, okay. Oh, wait, what if I'm wearing the entire set? No. There we go. I found the reaver of that word. I can wield it safely while wearing my dread armor. Grants me the power to connect with the spectral realm. The power will not come without its price, whatever that means. Okay, so as long as I wear this, I can use this thing. Which has some ridiculous enchantments on it. That's like a unique skin, which is pretty awesome. I don't know. So if I what if I do this then? Interesting. Okay, that's what happens. So if I yeah, if I take the armor off and I do some sort of action, it won't let me pick it up. Yeah. So I guess we're not going to be wearing the uh, Fin Gleam while I'm in here. Was that a cleave attack? This weapon's kind of ridiculous, though. I'll give it that. I think that means that I can pick these up too, right? Yeah, I can. Interesting. I should uh, take some for my collection then. Throw them in a chest, you know? Let's go ahead and wait. Play more. Play more. Battle axe. So that, that heavy attack... It looked like it cleaved through and hit both of them, but I'm not sure if that's actually the case. It is pretty powerful, I'll give it that. Look at all this nonsense. Although, uh, I'm not really sure if it's better than uh, the other weapon that I've been wielding. I guess the, the difference here is that I can use a shield with this, but... Hmm. We'll think about it, right? I'm not going to bother collecting all these. I have so much money right now. Now that, I believe, is supposed to be the official end of this quest. So uh, give me a minute to get situated. Maybe we will go and check out some of those other armor sets and then figure out what we're going to do from here. So yeah, give me a sec. All right, so unfortunately we are out of time for this week, but uh, I wanted to really quick take a look at some of the armor pieces that we picked up. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, quite, quite neat. Um, obviously we have this complete set now. I mean, it looks cool. I'm going to be honest, it's not like my favorite look. Um, these, which look Absolutely awesome, in my opinion. I don't have the complete set yet, unfortunately. But those are pretty nice. Ornate Obsidian. Got sort of a Amazon kind of vibe to it. Those abs, though, is that that's not part of the... That's part of the armor, right? No, I guess those are my abs. Wow, good for me. Um, so that's pretty neat. What's the armor value on these? 4945, 395, and obviously this is way better. Um, but that's pretty neat. I like that. If I had the complete set of this, I would probably wear that, honestly. 
Hmm. All right. Well, we'll figure it out. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this one. Supposedly, there's like one more ruin that is sort of involved with this quest. Because if you think about it, um, there was the dude that sent the two people to the ruins, right? We haven't taken him on yet. So maybe we'll do that next time, I guess. Um, maybe I'll stick with this for now just so that we can use it for a while. But I don't think because the problem, here's the problem, right? I have to use the fin gleam because otherwise everything's way too dark for the YouTube compression. So that kind of rules out using this weapon right here. Despite how ridiculous it is. Um, but honestly, I think this is almost better. Even though this is one-handed, of course. Um, this swings, I think, just as fast. So I think we'll go back to this. Maybe we'll mix it up. I'll try one of these other armors. And uh, yeah, look forward to uh, next week. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. Um, this was a little bit of a whirlwind. <laughs> I had no idea what was going on in this episode. But it was cool. So uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for... Wait, is it going to is it going to do that every time? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's going to be way too annoying. So, uh I'm afraid this is going in the chest and not coming out. Anyways, everybody, thank you very much for watching. See you on the next episode.